Hi everybody, welcome to Jay's Virtual Pub Quiz. It is Saturday the 11th of September. Well, it is when you watch this. Uh, for me, it is uh, still Friday the 10th of September. Um, so this is a pre-recorded quiz, as I've explained a few times now, uh, but in case you have missed it over the last few weeks. Uh, the next, at least the next few weeks of Saturday night quizzes are going to be pre-recorded. Um, just because there's the odd Saturday where, for example, I've got the marathon coming up and there's a lot of effort and a lot of, um, as you can imagine, last minute training going into that. Um, so I need to concentrate on that. Um, and there's a few other bits and pieces that we've got coming up. Uh, we've been booked for some events and stuff on Fridays. Um, and I just didn't want to have to say to you guys, right, tonight's live, next week's pre-recorded, tonight's pre-recorded, next week's live, you know, I just didn't, I thought, you know, it's only fair, and I've got the, uh, sorry, I've got the earthquake going again, let me step back a bit. Um, so I just wanted to make it fair for everyone so that you knew exactly where you could find the quiz every Saturday night. Uh, Thursday, it's like, it's like the most protected thing on earth, it's not going to move, it will always be live on a Thursday night. Um, even if I, you know, do end up on the moon, which I very much doubt would ever happen. But, uh, yeah, so even whatever happens with Thursday nights, they are, it's protected. Um, so that will always be alive or on, at least on the live tab, like I did when I was away a few weeks ago. Uh, but in terms of Saturday, I just didn't want to mess you around. I didn't want to be sitting there saying, oh yeah, unfortunately we're not live. So, uh, so yeah, um, so it is pre-recorded this evening, but that doesn't mean it's going to be any less fun than it normally is. Uh, it doesn't take anything away from it. Uh, quite simply because I'm sat here now and the recording, so this that I've set to record now and pre-record, the button won't stop until I get to the end. So all the mistakes will be in there, all of the spelling errors, the grammatical nonsense and all of the wrong answers and everything. Uh, the only difference is I won't be able to sort of correct anything. So you just have to argue about it on social media later. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. Uh, but on that note, we will be on social media. And this is the weird thing. Um, so even though this is the, the first of the Saturday pre-records for the first few weeks, next few weeks, um, I, re I don't actually have any plans for this Saturday night. It was the following Saturday that I've got a few things coming up. Um, and then the marathon a couple of weeks after that. And so, yeah, so I'm probably going to be as similar to when I was away. I was in social media, I was in the live chat. Um, and I was, you know, in all of those things as well and saying hello to people. So, um, yeah, so we're here. We're good. 50 questions. Uh, you've still got what you normally see in the breaks as well. If you were with us on Thursday, thank you very much for some of the great comments around this. Um, you'll see I introduced uh, some dingbats to our Thursday audience. I'm not quite sure what some of them made of it, um, who haven't done them before on a Saturday. But, yeah, introducing dingbats to a Thursday night. So slightly different setup and layout, layout on the screen. Uh, for how that will appear um so there's eight dingbats for you tonight in the first break and in the second break there'll be eight ditloids as well so i brought those back for you traditional what you what, what you've come to know on a saturday night um the other change that you will see on screen uh, as opposed to what you normally will now we will still put um we will still put everything up on social media in the break um because by, well, by the time you watch this i'll have uh, probably scheduled it anyway um or alex or i or beck i'm not sure which one of the three of us will do it but we'll put it up in the break anyway uh but one of the things that i will say is um lost my train of thought what was i going to say oh uh, yeah so what's changed um so if you're with us on thursday you'll see dingbats are along the bottom of the screen and then what you normally see on the break was in the top left and you know how dingbats were with a timer on top right uh, so for tonight's breaks, uh, what you'll see in that um, sort of in that box uh, where I appear, so I get a bigger box now, it's great. Um, but I, the first three rounds and then the final two rounds, uh, they will reappear in that box. So the break's seven minutes long. So the pictures will come up first, so you'll they'll rotate round. So they'll rotate round twice. Uh, so it just means you don't have to toddle off and go onto social media and go and find it and then lose where you were and lose your place, etc. In uh in the quiz and what have you so yes yeah, so they'll appear on screen so you can have another look at them in the break but they will still be on social if you need them uh, and then there'll be another one that will come up and it will have all the questions uh firstly from rounds two and three and then four and five yes this is what we do this is what we do um so yeah um that's pretty much i think that's everything new that we're introducing tonight uh, apart from the fact that the only one little thing uh, that I did, uh, that we, uh, well, between uh, Beck, myself, uh, I think we might have just sort of miscommunicated a little bit. Um, but we didn't put a shout-out post up this morning um, and completely forgot. Um, when I went to record this, as I sat down, I went, right, I'll grab some. Ah, they're not there. So, yes, unfortunately, I haven't got any shout-outs. But I can pretty much, um, I'll do the housekeeping around the YouTube live chat in a minute because that'll be on all the way through. 
but um, I can pretty much uh, sort of, you know, gather who will be around, um, but I won't single anyone. But hello to everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. About 10 minutes before we get going. Um, but yeah, our YouTube live chat legends will be very, very pleased because they have the live chat on all the way through the quiz. Um, but I do ask strongly now I have uh, put some put some kind of measures in place uh, for you to be able to comment in the live chat. You must be a subscriber of the channel. That is a condition. Uh, that's something that's set in the background. So you have to have been you have to be a subscriber of the channel. You can't just sort of like come along um, and just start commenting. So you've got to subscribe to the channel. That's um, one little feature that came up uh, because this is a premiere. And number two, please don't put the answers in the comments because it just spoils it for everyone. It's not very fair. Um, you know, everyone enjoys playing it and it's, it is for fun. And by putting the answers in the comments, it, yeah, it just it just ruins it for everyone. So please don't put your answers in the comments. And I will remind you a few more times uh, before we start this evening. Um, and the other thing is, this is really back to the very, very beginning. Uh, so tonight, uh, there is no Quiz Jockey because it's pre-recorded and Quiz Jockey very much relies on the live element of it. Um, and no app this evening as well. So it is just back to your traditional pen and paper. Uh, do you remember that? Uh, for those of you who've been on Quiz Jockey on the app for the last few months. Uh, so yeah, it is traditional pen and paper tonight. Um, back to back to the right at the beginning, back to the back to the roots. Um, and then share your scores on social media afterwards. So that is how we're playing the quiz this evening. Pen and paper. I mean, you've got used to this from a few Saturdays where there's not been uh, where have not been quiz jockeying, uh, and we do we do absolutely love quiz jockey. It is brilliant. Now you know it's, it's you know been really stable for us for the last uh, the last nearly twelve months. Now it's been brilliant, and we've really enjoyed it. Uh, and obviously, it's still going to be there every Thursday. Uh, it just unfortunately, it does need the live quizzing element uh, for it to work. And the only way we could send this out if I could pre-record it. But then the video file, once I finish recording this, ends up being about three or four gigs. It's getting a bit technical now. It uh, ends up being about three or four gigabytes. And then I'd have to then get someone, if I wasn't around, like in a couple of weeks' time, I won't be around, um, and get someone to, you know, send that video file through the live tab on YouTube and having to do a sort out a three, four gig video file. It's a little bit chaotic when you're trying to get into stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, um, no quiz jockey tonight, no app tonight, just pen and paper. I know, I know, back to, the, back to tradition. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was talking, um, I had a great chat with Gareth um, from All Things Quiz podcast this week as well. And we were talking about, you know, sort of quizzes and stuff. And I said, that's, you know, way back in the early 2000s when I ran my first ever quiz, it was pen and paper. And I used to, it was one of those things that you used to love listening to the hush of people, you know, whispering and trying to, um, you know, not give away what answers they were. And then it's just the scratching of pen and paper, pens and pencils on paper, uh, writing down the answers and feverishly writing down the answer because they just suddenly found out they were a genius and they got the answer. That's the, um, you know, that's why I do miss that. Um, smartphone quizzes are brilliant as well, but yeah. So yeah, we've got about six and a half minutes to go before we start this quiz. 50 questions as always tonight then. Um, round three is food and drink. Connections round... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I still can't believe my friend. I got a I got a text message um, which I saw on Friday morning uh, after Thursday night's connection round. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it too much. Uh, but sent me a message said didn't get a connection. I've never been to X place, and I just looked and went, "What? How have you never been to said place? It's awesome. It's phenomenal." Um, but yes, yeah, so I hasn't been to said place. I know it's, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable, Jeff. Uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, that that was uh, good fun. Uh, the connection, and I like that. That was good. Uh, tonight's one, again, I think this again, similar to Thursdays. If you don't know some of these, you might struggle. But I think there's enough in there to give you an idea of what you might be looking at. So I think the majority of will will be fine with the connection round this evening um hopefully kim and carol hello to both of you hopefully you've had a good day out as well uh, obviously for those of you who tune in regularly to our saturdays uh, you'll know that kim and carol are our wandering ladies on a saturday uh, who take themselves out and about uh, pretty much across the southeast really i think you guys are uh, so hopefully you've had a fun day out today hopefully you've been to somewhere uh, absolutely incredible 
um and obviously like i said before the youtube live legends and of course sort of everybody in our patreon discord as well don't forget patrons there is a live <clears throat> Try and find my voice. There is a live uh, Patreon quiz for tiers two and up from uh, tomorrow evening, Sunday evening. Uh, that is live. Uh, so that's at half seven, eight o'clock start. Uh, all the details for Patreon and everything are in there. I have set up the link, but I can't remember whether I've put it onto Patreon. By the time you watch this, the link will be on Patreon uh, for the Patreon quiz. And we thank you for your support, as always. Um, I've just um, I've been doing some work on Patreon today. And I've got 19 unread messages in there, which they weren't there the other day. Uh, so I'm going to go through those. Uh, that's part of my job tomorrow. I'm going to go through those while I watch the Formula One sprint race and the Tottenham versus Crystal Palace game. Yes, I can actually sit and watch those tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to go through those messages and reply to everyone on there. But yeah, we always, as always, we thank you for your support. Uh, a few things coming up. Um, we're going to be asking your advice. Um, we've been talking about this, talking about this, talking about this. Uh, we have now decided when we want to arrange a sort of a mini. And it's not like, you know, we're going to go and turn up in 10,000 seat arenas. Um, but we are going to sort out a mini tour. Uh, very, very small, intimate venues because I don't want anything really bigger than 100 to 150 people um, because otherwise I won't be able to come around and speak to everyone uh, in the breaks and then at the end of the quiz. So um, we are looking. We've got an idea of when we're going to do it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, no restrictions come in. Uh, but we are going to be talking to you and asking your advice uh, before we make our final decisions on venues and stuff and where we're exactly we're going to be. So, yeah. Uh, it is uh, all the details of that are coming. Uh, Beck's gonna. Bex is just producing a form where you guys can nominate venues to us uh, that you think might be able to support us, and then we can come out and see you and say hello to some of you and say, for my part, say thank you as well. That's what I really want to do. I really want to come and say thank you to as many people as possible. Um, and I'm pretty sure it will be possible to come out and say thank you to as many of you for being with us. You know, whether you've been with us from the beginning or since last week, you are your company and your comments and companionship, if that's even the right word, um, and just the community that we've got. Thank you very much. It's been emotional. Uh -huh. All right, two and a half minutes to get yourself settled in. Um, moving by. No, I'm not going to go through that yet because uh, I might not have. So I'm just looking at my to-do list behind my camera and going, uh, can I mention that yet? No. Um, but yeah, lo loads of things coming off. See, Marathon is coming up like an absolute train. Uh, by the, so by the time you watch this, what's that? So one, two, yes, yeah, so three weeks to go. Um, I, I'll be honest. I mean, I know I said I wanted to try and do like a weekly training blog on my other YouTube um, channel that I've got. Um, but it's incredibly boring training i'll be honest and it's not i don't know how many times i did videos that just sort of went hey yeah um, here i am in darwin again it's still the same as it was um but yes the third of october again same with strava as well i've just been on the same routes or i've been at home on the treadmill so again it's just been incredibly boring the training stuff so uh what i am going to do is i am going to record a lot of the marathon when i do it so that weekend i'm going to put you know together uh, what and how and when and why um so that you can see sort of behind the scenes um i'm down in london the wednesday before the marathon because i've got to drop my kit bag off uh for everything i need at the finish line and pick up my number and i'm also popping into connection at st martin's i'm going to catch up with them as well at the same time which is going to be absolutely awesome very very much looking forward to going into the center um and again i'm going to try and get some photos and videos uh because then i can sort of show you guys as well and we'll put them up on social media where the money raised uh, especially last year um so i think rate i think in total with the marathon money and everything we did last year i think for connection at st martin's we've raised over nearly sixty thousand pounds i think it is now um which is just incredible um to be able to support them so i'll be able to take some photos and meet some of the guys um and girls in there and uh, be able to show you where that that money went very much looking forward to that i've i've not been in those doors I've been outside them, but I've not been inside Connection at St. Martin in the centre since 2012, maybe 13 at a push. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be quite an emotional uh, going down to see everyone. All uh, right, 18 seconds to go then. So, hello, uh, as I always do, but I've not got names tonight, but hello to everyone in our Patreon Discord. Good evening. 
Hope you're all well. Uh, right, so live chat is on all the way through the quiz. But as I said before, please do not put your answers in the comments. Uh, use it to have fun, have a giggle, talk amongst yourselves, etc. Debate some of the questions. But like I say, please do not put your answers in the comments for this. Um, and you must be a subscriber on there to comment. So thank you very much for joining us it is saturday the 11th of september this is a pre-recorded jay's virtual pub quiz live um so it's recorded as live but it's shown to you pre-recorded i think that makes sense uh, as always we've got 50 questions in front of us and we start as we always do with the picture app 10 random pictures starting with number one i hope yes there we go uh who is this for number one so who is this for number one? Uh, number two, <clears throat> name the country from the flag. I bet nobody was expecting a flag question for question number two. So name the country for number two. Uh, number three, name the crisps from this picture. Slightly... Quite horrifying when you zoom in on them, but <laughs> name the crisps from this picture for number three. And number four, name the landmark. So name the landmark for number four. <laughs> number five. Uh, who is this for number five? Hmm. Number six, name the TV show from this Lego set. So name the TV show from this Lego set. Number seven, name the chocolate bar from this picture. <laughs> name the chocolate bar from this picture. And number eight, name the Taylor Swift album from this sort of cropped version of it. Because it obviously had a very big clue on it. So name the Taylor Swift album from this picture. Number nine, name the cartoon character from this picture. So name the cartoon character from this picture. Picture, picture. Pikachu. That's not Pikachu. It's just me being silly. 
And finally, number 10. And name the group from this picture. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Entertainment round then for you. Uh, 10 random entertainment questions, TV, music and films all across the decades. Starting oh, with this. Number one. Uh, Stars Hollow was the setting for which long-running noughties TV show? So Stars Hollow was the setting for which long-running noughties TV show? Mm. I watched this show as well. I quite liked it. Number two, which name is missing from the legendary songwriting stroke produ uh, producing trio? Uh, it's not the right amount of letters. Uh, it's just a, you know, so stock. <laughs> uh, Waterman. So which name is missing from the legendary songwriting producing trio? Uh, stock. Waterman. I mean, that is a whole connections quiz on its own. The amount of uh, people that they have churned out through uh, through their production and their songwriting. Quite incredible. Number three, name the film from this quote. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. Uh, name the film from this quote. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me, aren't you? Aren't you? Number four, which country was the ill-fated and short-lived BBC soap El Dorado set? Yeah. So which country was the ill-fated and short-lived BBC soap El Dorado set? Question number five. Uh, name the song. We're leaving together, but it's uh, but still it's farewell, and maybe we'll come back to Earth. Who can tell? <clears throat> so name the song. We're leaving together, but still it's farewell, and maybe we'll come back to Earth. Who can tell? And number six, complete the name of the 2011 animated comedy based on a Shakespeare play. Hmm. And Juliet. So I don't want the name of the Shakespeare play. It's complete the name. So let me make sure you, this is complete the name of the 2011 animated comedy based on a Shakespeare play. Hmm. And Juliet. Don't want the name of the Shakespeare play. I want the name of the uh, 2011 animated comedy. Which I must say, he's got an all-star cast and he's very good. Uh, number seven, Zip... Mm, start again. Number seven, Zippy, George and a bunk... George and Bungle, even, not Buggle, uh, were puppets in which TV show? So Zippy, George and Buggle, Bungle, were puppets in which TV show? See, this is what happens. Now, if I didn't 
pre-record this as live all in one go and you know i'm doing this like i'm doing a thursday and a saturday quiz if i was pre-recording it probably i could have gone oh right okay i'll just cut at that point i'll edit in you know change that on screen and edit it in uh, you'd lose the whole feel of the quiz if i did that Sippy georgian buggle bugle uh, number eight, which American singer, songwriter, producer, and rapper, busy man, uh, was born William James Adams Jr. So which American singer, songwriter, producer, rapper, was born William James Admund Adams Jr.? There's a lot of things going on there. Number nine, who played Happy Gilmore in the 1996 film of the same name? So who played Happy Gilmore in the 1996 film of the same name? And finally, number 10, <clears throat> what are the surname, start again, what are the surnames of the two Ronnies? So what are the surnames of the two Ronnies? You need both for the point. You can't just have one. You need both for the point. Okie dokie, right, we move then to your food and drink round number three, uh, and then we'll take a short break. Uh, question number one, uh, which animal is the main ingredient for the French dish boulebes? Boulebes. So which animal is the main ingredient for the French dish boulebes? Ah, boulebes. Ah, oui, oui. And that's the audience of France turning off. Or French accents. Number two, Bacchus stroke Dion. Uh, oh, I pronounced this all right earlier. Dinos, Dionysus, Dionysus, Dionysus. Whatever it says on screen. Uh, he's a Roman god of fruitfulness, vegetation, but especially known as the god of which alcoholic beverage? So Bacchus and Dionysus, Dionysus is the Roman god of fruitfulness, vegetation, but especially known as the god of which alcoholic beverage? I learned a pronunciation for that and everything earlier. It's just gone out of my head. One ear, out the other. And that's it. If I didn't record this in one go, I could put some fancy voiceover over the top that goes. Uh, number three, meringue is a mixture of sugar and what? So what's the main ingredient? Meringue is a mixture of sugar and what? Number four, chocolate can be traced back over 4,000 years to which modern day country? Ooh. Who knew chocolate had a 4,000 year history? Probably a lot of you out there to be fair, but anyway. Chocolate can be traced back over 4,000 years to which modern day country? Number five, food served on continually rotating conveyor belts for customers to choose from, first associated with which food type? Which, um, which food restaurant? Food type? For, um, you, yeah, I think you'll get where I'm going with this. Uh, 
So food served on continually rotating conveyor belts for customers to choose from were first associated with which food? Uh, number six. Julienne means vegetables cut how? So julienne means vegetables cut how? How? How to? Number seven, 57 varieties is synonymous with which food brand? So 57 varieties is synonymous with which brand? Number eight, two finger, four finger and chunky are varieties of which chocolate bar? So two finger, four finger and chunky are varieties of which chocolate bar? Question number nine. Odds and ends is the English translation of which Chinese dish? So odds and ends is the English translation of which Chinese dish? And finally, dum. Number 10. Is a sous chef the deputy chef or the head chef? So is a sous chef the deputy chef or the head chef? Yes, chef. So there you go. That is your first 30 questions of this evening. So we'll take a short break as we always do then at this point. So I will point you that you can go and still find the questions and the pictures. They will be up on social media for the break. However, you'll also see them. So I say if you were with us on Thursday night, uh, you'll have seen the new sort of break layout that I tried on Thursday um, with the screen and the dingbats will be across the bottom for you. Uh, so they will be repeated on screen. They'll rotate and they're not going to stay on screen like for half an hour. They'll be, I think they're 20 seconds, maybe 15, 20 seconds on each picture. Uh, so they'll just rotate. Um, then a few, then our usual bits and pieces, the questions for round two and three, and then it will come back around again. Uh, so those two sections, that three and a half minutes long um, and you break seven. So I shall see you all very very shortly oh no hang on uh that one yes see you all shortly
Okay, uh, so it's just gone eight forty on my uh, on my time here. Now you're all thinking, is he live? That hang on, let's look at the clock. Oh, it, it is nearly eight forty. Um, so it's just gone about eight forty on my on my end here. Uh, so I'll give you another minute. Uh, on your uh, for your dingbats there hopefully that helped a little bit uh feedback as always you know having the question having the pictures and stuff on screen i did say i know one of the feedbacks going to be well they could have been a bit longer on screen no I know, I know i get that um but i felt that that was probably the the fairest amount of time if you really needed more time with the pictures they were still up on social media for you uh yeah but hopefully that helps you didn't have to come away from um especially for playing on devices and you don't have to go on to social media at least you had them all on screen uh for you so hopefully that helped and a bit of different music as well. I need, I need to go through the YouTube music, actually, YouTube library and have a look. Uh, freshen up the music. Freshen everything up. That's why things like this. And I'm using my cursor to rotate the screen and you can't even see what I'm doing. Uh, but things like this on screen and stuff uh, just freshens things up a little bit. Especially as it's the uh, 150th, 150th live quiz on Thursday night as well. Uh, right. I'm going to give you the answers to these. Oh, hang on. Alt tab. Mm -mm. Going to give you the answers then to these. In three. There you go. And plus with it set up like this, I get a bigger box. I'm not in like my little compressed box up in the top corner. Uh, right, number one was space program. Uh, number two on second thought. Uh, number three, I thought I were quite clever. Repair. See, repair. Uh, number four, kiss and makeup. And number five, incoming message. Number six, bottomless pit. And number seven, time on your hands. And number eight, greetings card. Yes, greetings card. I like that one. That was quite cool as well. Uh, so you've got eight ditloids for your second break as well. Um, so yeah, it'll be eight of everything. Uh, going forward because it fits quite nicely on the screen like this still need to work on the visual bits a bit but anyway uh, right so uh top your scores up for those and then we'll go straight in to your answers for the first part of the quiz and yes yeah, see how you got them. some good scores from thursday actually i was quite impressed with uh, a lot of scores from thursday and a lot of you were on 49 out of 50 because you missed out on the flag I'm so sorry, but you, you know there's a flag coming. That, that, yeah, in fact, I'm not going to apologise. You know there's going to be a flag for question two. <laughs> okay, right here we go. Fire this across. So picture round then is what we started. Uh, so ten random pictures. Number one. Uh, who is this? That is Lily James. She was in the Mamma Mia films, uh, Baby Driver, and a few other things that I can't remember off the top of my head. But Lily James for number one. Number two, name the country that is Austria. The flag over Austria. Got some incredible canals there in uh, in Austria. That's the point. If you are new to the quiz, I am kidding. Uh, number three, name the pom uh, name the crisps. They are pom bears. Number four, name the landmark that is the Taj Mahal. Number five, who is this? That is Dane Bowers. And another level. And uh, didn't he do something with Victoria Beckham as well in the mid-2000s? Was that him who did... I don't know, it was True Steppers, wasn't it? Never mind. Ignore me. Just reminiscing from the noughties. Uh, number six, name the TV show from this Lego set. That is Friends. Number seven, name the chocolate bar. That is a dime bar or dame bar, as we had the debate on th on Thursday night as to how it's pronounced. I've always known it pronounced as dime bar, and I forgot that it was originally, I've got one here, so it was originally called a dime bar, but now they've relabeled the package. It, or is it because I'm buying these from my, I get these from Ikea? No, it was made in Uxbridge. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so there was a bit of a debate around that, so I thought I'd chuck this back in. Uh, number eight, name the Taylor Swift album. That is 1989. Number nine, name the cartoon character. That is Daphne from Scooby Dooby Doo. Hey, Scooby. And number 10, name the group that is Boyzone. Uh, 
uh, entertainment then. Number one, uh, Stars Hollow was the setting for which long-running Naughty's TV show. It was Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls. I like that. It was quite a cute little program. Uh, number two, its name is missing from the legendary songwriting producing trio. It's Stock, Aitken and Waterman. Word, they really did churn out some really good stuff and some horrors as well. Uh, number three, name the film from this quote. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me, aren't you? Uh, it's The Graduate. Number four, which country was the ill-fated and short-lived BBC soap El Dorado set? Uh, it was Spain. Number five, name the song. We're leaving together, but still it's farewell. And maybe we'll come back to Earth. Who can tell? It's Europe. And the final countdown. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yeah, that one. Da na na na. Da na 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 na. Number six. Complete the name of the 2011 animated comedy based on a Shakespeare play. Uh, it's Gnomeo and Juliet. Number seven. Number seven. Zippy, George and Buggle, but not. It's Bungle, uh, if you spell it right, Jay. Uh, were puppets in which TV show? It was Rainbow. Uh, number nine, which American singer, songwriter, producer, rapper, uh, judge on The Voice, uh, was born William James Adams Jr. It was Will I Am. And come on, click. There you go. Number 10, who played Happy Gilmore in the 1996 film? The same name. Uh, it was Adam Sandler. Those people who have been on a driving range or a golf course, I guarantee you, have tried to do the happy gilmore drive this is you you just you can't go to a driving range or a golf course without having attempted it uh, and finally sorry number 10 uh, what are the surnames of the two ronnies it is corbett and barker ronnie corbett and ronnie barker sorry it's a question i got lost where i was then so food and drink for you uh number one which animal is the main ingredient for the french dish boulebets it is fish like a fish stew or a fish soup. I'm not a fan of fish, so that sounds vulgar and vile to me, but I know there are a lot of people who like it. Uh, Bacchus and Dionysus, 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 Dionysus is the Roman god of fruitfulness, vegetation, but it's actually no incentive. Uh, yeah, the, the god of wine, seeing as I can't talk. Uh, it's the god of which alcoholic beverage? It's what their wine. So Bacchus is the Roman god of wine. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoy a glass of wine every now and again, now you know who the Roman deity is for it. Number three, meringue is a mixture of sugar and what? It is egg whites. Number four, chocolate can be traced back over 4,000 years to which modern day country? It is Mexico. Hmm. Number five, food served on continually rotating conveyor belts for customers to choose from were first associated with sushi. If you have put fish, I will be a bit lenient because I think I'm poorly worded that which with which food well sushi is fish isn't it so raw fish but sushi is the word i was looking for but i'll give you fish and uh, number six julienne means vegetables cut how it is thin strips cut thinly which have you done uh, 57 varieties is synonymous with which brand it is heinz you know, actually, our fifth bit worth. Well, uh, there's a, there is a list online uh, if I'm going to have a look. Uh, number eight, two finger, four finger, and chunky are varieties of which chocolate bar it is Kit Kat. Number nine, odds and ends is the English translation of which Chinese dish? It is chop suey. And if it wants to work, finally, number 10, is a sous chef the deputy chef or the head chef? They are deputy chef. Mm -hmm. So sous chef is a deputy chef. Sous chef. So how are you doing so far this evening? 30 questions in the bag for you. So you should have hopefully 30 answers now. Um, but how many of them did you get right? Uh, Tot your scores up and let us know as you always do. Uh, connections round still to come. And let's put myself back on the big screen. That button there and that one. Yes, connections round still to come and a general knowledge to finish off. 10 random questions there and a tie. Ooh, tie break. 
I'm going to say there is a tiebreaker and surprise myself if I've not loaded it. I've got a, I've got a funny thing that I might have forgotten to load the tiebreaker. We'll get to it at the end. Uh, find out. I just have to ask it audibly. audibly. Uh, so yeah, uh, talk your scores up and let us know how you got on. So connections as always, uh, what links them all? So nine different answers, sorry, nine answers. Connect, uh, question number 10, what links all of the answers together? Now, in terms of this, as always, you need to make sure that you that the answer fits with the rest of them to make the connection. There is one that I think might cause a bit of an issue. But the, the answers have to link with the others. There's no point putting down nine random answers and thinking they might work. They've got to link together. As always, let us know when you think you've got it. As uh, say, all, one of the three of us will be across, one or all of us will be across social media tonight, uh, seeing how you're getting on. Uh, so let us know. Hang on. I need to do that, don't I? Boom, there we go. Okay, here we go. Connections, nine questions. Number one, uh, in classic mythology, yeah, in classic mythology, which god is portrayed with wings and a bow and arrow? Mm-hmm. So in classic myth, oh whoa 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 whoa. Uh, okay, let's try that again. There we go. Yeah. So sorry about that. Just clicked a random thing, and we got Microsoft's help, like the equivalent of a paperclip turning up on a Word document. Uh, so yeah, in classic mythology, which god is portrayed with wings and a bow and arrow? Uh, number two. Uh, guppy, blob, and carp are all types of what? So guppy, blob, and carp are all types of what? Number three, what is the name of the herb near this? Start again. What is the name of the movable joint found on a door or gate? These are found in many other places, but what is the name of the movable joint found on a door or gate? Number four, which day of the week comes fifth alphabetically? So which day of the week comes fifth alpha, alpha, alphabetically? Easy for me to say. Uh, number five, the combination of simultaneously sounded musical notes, the sound pleasing is described by which word beginning with the letter H? So the combination of simultaneously sounded musical notes that sound pleasing is described by which word beginning with H? That's beginning with the letter H. Uh, number six, what kind of bee lends its name to a transformer and a character in The Simpsons? That's transformer as in the cartoon and real action, not like transformer you'd find in electrical boxes. Uh, so what kind of bee lends its name to a transformer and a, char and a character in The Simpsons? Da, 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 Question number seven, what word links a power tool used for cutting, deburring, and polishing amongst other functions and a device used to turn coffee beans to ground coffee? So what word links a power tool used for cutting, deburring, and polishing amongst other functions and a device used to turn coffee beans to ground coffee?
Uh, number eight, what word means something that is equal to another in quality or strength? Hmm. This is the one I think you're going to end up with a few, but there is one specific answer that we want, which matches with the others. It links with the others. Uh, what word means something that is equal to another in quality or strength? Number nine, dry flammable material such as wood or paper used for lighting fires is known as which word beginning with the letter T? So dry flammable material such as wood or paper used for lighting fires is known as which word beginning with the letter T? Question 10. What links them all together? Hmm. So what links them all together? I guarantee you there's a few people out there who are pretending that they don't know what the link is, even though they do. Yeah. There's some people out there going, nope, never heard of them. No, no idea what it is. Don't know. <laughs> let us know if you got the connect, but don't tell us what it is, but let us know if you think you know what the connection is and when you think you got it. Uh, general knowledge then, 10 random questions to finish you off on this Saturday, the 11th of September, number one. Uh, which of these was not a wife of Henry VIII? Uh, Howard, Argon, or Parr? So which of these was not a wife of Henry VIII? Howard, Argon, Parr. Number two, what is the highest number on the pH scale? So what is the highest number on the pH scale? Question number three, Brooklyn is the eldest son of which celebrity couple? So Brooklyn is the eldest son of which celebrity couple? Uh, number four, which continent would you find the Amazon rainforest? So on which continent would you find the Amazon rainforest? At number five, which British rider has the joint most Tour de France Stage wins. So this is not the overall event. Uh, this is which British rider has the joint most Tour de France stage wins? Uh, number six, what is the third book of the Old Testament? What is the third book of the Old Testament? Number seven, which part of a plant absorbs the water? So which part of a plant absorbs the water?
Number eight, which superhero lives in Gotham City? Main superhero. I think I've asked this question before and then a load of people told me there was someone else. Uh, but which main superhero lives in Gotham City? Uh, number nine, four cities make up the big four fashion week hosts. London, Paris, New York, and where? So four cities make up the big four fashion week hosts. London, Paris, New York, and which other city? And your final question, number 10. Mount Etna is described as the most active volcano in the world, but which island is it situated on? Mm, so Mount Etna is described as the most active volcano in the world, but which island is it situated on? So there we go on my clock. It's just gone 9.02. So in the 20 seconds that it gets to you, it should still be 9.02, fingers crossed, uh, which means I've hit the normal timings I have on a normal live Saturday. Pretty much spot on tonight. Uh, but yeah, so let's get you some answers shortly. Uh, so we'll take another break. Uh, Ditloid's coming up for you. Eight of those in total. I think one of these I might have done before, uh, but I don't think I've done any of the others. Um, but I just got a funny feeling one of them I have done. Um, but yeah, let's put these up and I will see you in a few minutes time. It's that one.
Uh, right, yeah, so as you can tell, um, this is all recorded live in one go and had a meltdown there because I forgot that I hadn't... Basically, what you see, the way, where I am now, that's a recorded video that drops into that and it's all technical nonsense, but I forgot to... Um, what I forgot to do was I forgot to create a second one that just had rounds four and five. So that's where all the technical meltdown happened with that. Uh, but at least they were there. They were there for you all the way through then. So uh, plenty of time for you to have a look at through those. Uh, hello to my friend Hayley as well, um, who I'm recording. So this is Friday night. Well, Friday when I'm recording this. Um, and normally Hayley and I have a conversation sort of in the breaks and stuff during the quiz and what have you. She says how she's getting on. And we've sort of inadvertently kept that tradition going tonight. Um, so not that I know how she's getting on. That That's would be really really psychic powers and slightly frightening and scary at the same time anyway right let's give you the answers to the dear but hi Haley, hi leon hi martin and hi Haley's mom uh here we go there we go so uh number one was one hit a wonder uh number two seven wonders of the world uh number three olympic games every four years yeah olympic games every four years Number four, 454 grams to a pound, or if you really, 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 really want to be really pedantic, 454 grams to a pound point zero 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 eight, I think it is. And number five is minus five equals a birdie in golf. My cursor's on the screen. Let's get that off there. Uh, minus one equals a birdie in golf. Number six, five little piggies went to market. Nice little piggy staying at home. Uh, number seven, four sides on a square. And number eight, three-legged race. And there you go. Uh, so yeah, because this is a, well, this is a premiere, but you can obviously pause, go back, rewind if you need to with those. Uh, right, get your wild tab stuff in the background and get back onto the right screen I need to be. Uh, swap your answer sheets over with your nearest and dearest or um show you're working etc i'd love this i saw something a few weeks ago i meant to mention it uh when it comes around to answer time uh what a, a couple of people have been doing because they play sort of on zooms and whatsapp they have to just be, when i say right it's time to hand over your answer sheets or might get ready to mark your answers they hold them up on zoom and take a screenshot so no one can then edit out or change anything when the when the answers come out which i thought was um extreme but quite clever i like that idea I didn't always wonder how people would get around the making sure no one was cheating. Okay, how did you get on connections round then? It's uh, what we got, 9.12 on mine. So it'll be about 9.13, probably by the time it gets to you. So question number one. Uh, in classic mythology, which god is portrayed with wings and a bow? An arrow, it is Cupid. Number two, guppy, blob and carp are all types of what? Uh, it's fish. Number three, what is the name of the movable joint found on a door gate? Uh, it's hinge. I'll be honest, never heard of this one until I was talking about doing this connection round with Beck and she was throwing loads of random things at me. Uh, number four, which day of the week comes fifth alphabetically? Uh, it's Thursday. I'll come back to that answer because I think it's quite a clever um, idea behind uh, that. Uh, number five, the combination of simultaneously sounded musical notes that sound pleasing is described by which word beginning with H? It is harmony. Number six, what kind of bee lends its name to a transformer and a character in The Simpsons? It is Bumble. Number eight, what word links a power tool used for cutting, deburring, and polishing, amongst other functions, and a device that uh, used to turn coffee beans to ground coffee? It is grinder. Yes, I know there's an extra letter in that version, but you get the point. Number eight, uh, which word means something that is equal to another in quality or strength? It is match. Number nine, dry flammable material such as wood or paper used for lighting fires is known as what word beginning with the letter T? Kinder. What links them? They're all dating apps and websites. Um, Thursday, I wanted to come back to that one because I thought it was quite cool. Thursday is a new one. Now, if I was single, then it would probably be the only one I would go on. Because uh, the way it works is you make your matches and stuff during the week and then it gets to Thursday 
and you either make contact with that person and sort of arrange to meet on a Thursday because uh, when Friday morning kicks in it's all reset and you have to start again uh, which I quite like that idea it's that sort of um, you know going into the unknown um, but yeah uh, no chance of me going on to dating apps anytime soon uh, number one, uh, general knowledge then, uh, number one, good job Sarah doesn't watch this pretty isn't it? Uh, number one, which of these was not a wife of Henry VIII? Uh, Howard, Argon or Parr? It's Argon, because that is a chemical element. Um, Aragon would have been uh, the actual answer. On number two, what is the highest number on the pH scale? It's 14. Number three, Brooklyn is the eldest son of which couple? Uh, David and Victoria Beckham. Number four, which continent would you find the Amazon rainforest? It is South America. Number five, which British rider has the joint most Tour de France stage wins? It's Mark Cavendish. Joint on 34, is it 34, 35 or 36? I can't remember the right number off the top of my head, but he's joined this up. And number six, what is the third book of the Old Testament? It's Leviticus, Genesis. Oh, hold that. Hold, please. I think I've put the wrong answer in. It's not Leviticus. Uh, oh, I'm right. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Yeah, it is Leviticus. Ignore me. As you were. Uh, number seven. <laughs> it's Leviticus. It's right. Number six. Uh, number seven. Uh, which part of the plant absorbs water? It is the roots. Number eight. Which superhero lives in Gotham City? It is Batman. Number nine, four cities make up the big four fashion week hosts, uh, London, Paris, New York, and Milan. And number 10, Mount Etna is described as the most active volcano in the world, but which island is it situated on? It is the island of Sicily. That's it for this 9th, uh, for the 11th of September. It's not the 9th, 9th was Thursday. Uh, for the 11th of September. How have you got on this evening? Tot your scores up and let us know. Uh, as always, there'll be a social post up. Uh, you have got YouTube live chat as well tonight, so you can stick your answers in there if you want, but do stick it all across social media. Love seeing those come through. Uh, thankfully, your tiebreaker is loaded, and it is this. How many days did Queen Victoria reign? So how many days did Queen Victoria reign? Mm. A few people have said I give you quite a bit, uh, quite too long. Sorry, I give you too long on the tie break because then people have had enough time to go or, uh, and get the answer and then cheat. So your answer in three, two, one. It is this 23,226 days. Obviously now beaten by uh, Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, but yeah, 23,226 days. As that screen says there, that's it. So that is your quiz for the 11th of September, Saturday, the 11th of September. Thank you very much for joining us. How did you get on? Let us know across social media, as you always do. And we love seeing it. We love going back through your scores and we love reading your comments, etc., and everything that goes with it. Uh, so please do keep it up. Thank you very much uh, for doing that. Um, but yeah, that is it. We are back live then on Thursday night. So this Thursday coming, it's the 150th live quiz uh, so do join us for that usual time 7 50 8 o'clock i'm here and then the quiz starts at 8 15 so yeah the 150th live quiz as i record this we still haven't planned anything this is jay's virtual pub quiz we don't plan anything so uh we'll still have some fun on uh, on wednesday uh, wednesday on thursday night even uh with a giggle as we always do uh, thanks for joining us this evening or whenever it is that you play along with us uh, i know a lot of people do watch this a few days later so thank you very much uh hope you've had a great evening and uh thank you for being here as always for me we'll see you soon take care stay safe <laughs>